Hi there boys and girls, Brucey here, and today I thought I'd do a little video on how I earn and make my living as a musician, as a guitar player, as an audio engineer, as a composer, and as a sound designer. There are quite a few channels now out there in YouTube, such as Rick Beato's channel and Christian Henson's channel, who are kind of going through this process of describing how they make money from this, how they, they get to earn and how they get to live the lifestyle that they kind of want to do. I, I assume that's what they want to do. I can certainly vouch for the fact that I am doing okay. And primarily for me, I, I started a podcast a while back called There Is Another Way, Making Life Work as a Creative. Uh, do go and check that out if you're interested in uh, finding out about how to change your life, how to figure out what it is you want to do and how to make a living being creative or, or just not working for the man. And for me, it really boiled down to the fact that I used to have an office job for a while and I hated it. I just hated it. It destroyed my soul because at the end of the day, I am a creative person. All I want to do is be playing guitar, talking about guitar, talking about sound, manipulating sound, mixing, and producing, you know, I spent a large part of my life so far studying this and implementing this. And where I had to take a chance to dip out and do something else, it just really didn't work for me at all. Because there was always a calling to come back and do this and I'd be at work and all I was thinking about was doing this. How did I make it work? Well, you know, we're still on a path. I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie to you. You know, I still struggle a little bit financially sometimes, maybe comparing myself to some of those other guys. I'm definitely not doing that because I'm not in the same league as them and some of the other guys on YouTube, but that's not the point. Uh, the point is that I can survive. I am extremely fortunate and I thank my lucky stars every day that I can go out and do pretty much anything I want whenever I want to do it. You know, money is a consideration, but it isn't the ultimate consideration. And for that, you know, I, I'm I'm grateful and I appreciate that maybe some of you watching this are not in that circumstance or, you know, have terrible things going on or, you know, are working a job you hate and maybe not turning over the money and, and drooling over all this stuff. At the end of the day as well, this is just stuff. I've I've been lucky I invest what I earn back into this. It's like a feedback mechanism. I just keep upgrading and getting better and better stuff as and when I can afford it. And that's that's the most important thing. This is kind of irrelevant. Being able to do the job is the most important thing and having a thirst and a hunger, which I do, to continually keep learning. And that's one of the prime reasons why I do this channel is because I feel that I have also benefited from education. I've got a lot of education in my life and being in the UK as well, that is also another massive benefit for me, which many of you others don't have. Also, I was able to get a relatively free education and I feel that it's my duty as a human being to share the knowledge that I have been fortunate to gain with you people out there who may be not as fortunate as me. Uh, or just don't get it or just want to tune in and get it maybe more fortunate than me but it's all about for me it's sharing the knowledge there's no point in me keeping all this knowledge in my head and not using it I just feel it's my duty to share it with as many people as possible and hopefully help you inspire you to to create amazing better things getting back to the topic of the video I wanted to also explain that you know I believe that anyone can do this if I can do it you can certainly do it. There is nothing holding you back. You may feel that, it, that there is, but if we work through some exercises, again, I have a lot of these exercises on my podcast. Do go and check it out. It's totally free. I will probably be doing some more videos depending on how well this one goes down about this topic. So if you do like this, please do drop some questions in the box below. Please do like it. Please do share it. Please do tell your friends because the more that you guys interact with this video, the more I'm kind of encouraged to do more along this theme. You've just got to focus in on what it is that you want and how you you know, how you think you can go about achieving it. And how do I earn money then? Well, I earn it. I like to think of this concept of pots. I have a variety of different pots. Now, many, some people just have one job. They have one pot. They go to work every day, Monday to Friday, nine to five, nine to five thirty, whatever they do, they fill up their pot and then they try and do other things and they're always too tired and all that other stuff going on. I am very fortunate that I have a couple of different pots 
which are smaller pots. But when you add up the small pots together, they form a bigger amount. And this is what I would encourage you to do, is just taking little bits from various different places and combine them together and you'll be surprised what you can do. So let me just break down what some of my pots are. My primary pot is I, I lecture. I'm not a full-time lecturer, so again, I, I work for myself. I am the responsible for everything that I do. I have to get up in the morning and fight, and, and it's hard work, let me tell you. It's hard work, you gotta keep fighting, but it's worth it because I'm only answerable to me. And if I'm too lazy, and if I don't wanna get up in the morning, then I'm losing out. It's all down to me, and that's a great motivator. So yes, yeah, so I am a, a freelance lecturer at a number of universities in the Northwest. I lecture in audio engineering at uh, the School of Electronic Music in Manchester. I do a lot of uh, master classes for places like FutureWorks. I uh, also do a whole series of workshops uh, and tutorials on sound and sound recording at Manchester University. I used to lecture at Salford University. I've kind of stopped there now. And I also work on a research project up with another university in Edinburgh at the moment. But again, these are all contracts. They'll all come to an end or hopefully not come to an end or kind of trickle through. But they don't form up all of my time. And the reason I do them is because as much as I'd like to be spending all day playing guitar and all day writing, I find that teaching really helps me. It really helps me keep current about what's going on in, in the industries, keep current about what you know the kids today, to use that term, are up to or interested in, but also pushes me to keep learning because probably my biggest motivation in life and one of my biggest, I just love learning. I like sucking knowledge and finding more and more useful ways to to be creative to to do things to find solutions to problems so teaching for me is part of this journey of continual learning i'm not a teacher telling everyone what it is they want to do i always find teaching a two-way process where we swap and we share information and i will learn from a student and the student hopefully will learn from me the only difference between me and the student is that i've just got a shed load of more experience and i can find the answer to things probably a little bit quicker because i've just covered that stuff for years and years and years and also probably have a background that they don't have that's the only difference I'm not saying that I would ever be smarter than a student or students are smart students. So it's bright, they're intelligent and they keep kicking my ass, which is what I like about it as well. So lecturing is one thing. Second thing, gigging. I gig quite a lot, do function band work. So function band work is maybe not artistically uh, rewarding, but as I keep telling myself, as I keep kicking my backside when I get a little bit frustrated about it you know i am being paid cold hard cash to play guitar and to be honest i the money can be pretty good so there is nothing to complain about in regards to that you know i am being played to do the thing that i love most in in the world and as a result of that i am extremely fortunate extremely fortunate to do that I have to keep telling myself because sometimes it's not always fun and maybe I'll do a video on the pros of cons of working with a function band but yeah so function work that brings in another part of the pot so we're getting two things two smaller things medium things adding up together so uh, I do private tuition I suppose that falls into the first category mostly guitar lessons uh, locally and up in Manchester and also occasionally do Skype lessons for those of you who are interested in it. I teach primarily guitar but I also have done uh, courses relating to the courses I teach at university so mastering audio, mixing and songwriting and composing. Again if you're interested in that things do drop me a line and we can chat about that offline. So again another small amount and that brings me a couple of lessons a week you know you're starting to pay bills with that you know that that you think I'm doing like two or three guitar lessons a week that's my electricity covered or that's my groceries covered. That's the way you've got to start thinking about it and as I said we'll, we'll do another video on this about how you can break things down and figure out what it is you need to earn to survive and then you can find small ways of bringing that in and building that up. Third way I earn money is uh, writing music and doing production music. I write 
for libraries. So admittedly, I don't do this full time. And this is something that I'm transitioning into doing a lot more of uh, for a variety of reasons, which I won't go into right now. But I'm writing a lot more music for libraries, getting library placements. And again, there's a little trickle fee, but that's a long game. And I'll probably do a video on this as well, but there's plenty out there as well. But you've got to think of this, and I think of this as the long game. This is writing and writing and writing material for the retirement fund, you know, because it's going to take years. It takes years for this to kind of roll around and start generating. But we get money coming in and always get great when you see a little royalty check come in. Uh, the same with a book. I've written a book called Guitar Creativity. There is a link below. And because you've watched this far in the video, if you click the link below, you'll get a free copy of it. But obviously I sell the book as well. And that brings in a little bit of money, small bits, just small bits. And you think it's paying for my coffee, it's paying for a small amount of groceries, it's paying my electricity bill. When you start seeing things this way, you can see how you can make things work and how you can make this life as a creative work for you. The next thing um, I do is artist. Now this is obviously the dream gig and I put out a lot of music or have in the past under a variety of different names. Uh, Light Before Sound being my kind of ambient cinematic electronica that's out there on Spotify and stuff like that. And again, so we get trickle feed through of streaming income and royalties from that. Um, I've got another rap called Between the Lines. So we go out, we do gigs. Uh, again, you get payment for that, you sell CDs, so you get a little bit of money coming in. And there is a new project, a new app that I'm going out with later in the year. We've got a small tour, hopefully going to be starting booking now, hopefully UK wide. And um, as of today, actually, hopefully maybe getting a few dates in Germany and Austria to go along with. So that's pushing the artist dream, but thinking of it as a business. So I've got to figure out the, the economics and a way of making it work financially. So again, I come back with a little bit of a little bit of cash at the end of the day. Not a lot, because as I said, I'm pretty happy with my lot in life. I've got most of the things that I, I need. Again, I've purchased wisely over the years. I hope to see another video on that about buy, buy, buy once. Obviously there is uh, gear acquisition syndrome, which I do feel guilty to sometimes, but I'm pretty good at keeping it under control these days. As I said, I've accumulated all my studio gear over the years and it all functions. I've got my workflow and it all works for me pretty well. And then there's a dribble as well. So for example, I get a dribble from, from YouTube, um, from ad revenue on these videos and I'm setting up a Patreon soon. So again, if you, you like these videos and you feel like you want to help me out a little bit, then uh, subscribing to the Patreon can, you know, every little helps. Because the other thing I have to say though, is all these things are variable. They also vary in the amount that it comes. So some months aren't so good, some months are okay. So you have to bear that in mind. And as I said, I'm contracting. So I don't, if I lose my teaching job, then the, you know, uh, that's going to be slightly problematic. If I leave, leave you know, we get, don't get so many gigs, it's like, oh, that's taking a hit. But I have redundancies in place. And any time that I do earn a little bit more, we do the sensible thing and we save up and we put it in savings. So there's a certain period, a buffer period where we can get by. So there we go. I've realized I've talked for quite a long time and there's quite a few issues there, which I said we will probably talk about in other videos. But the main thing to take away from this video is that, you know, think about your income in terms of pots. You can do this. You can be an artist. You can be a musician. You've just got to find niches. You've got to find little bits and pieces that you can pull together and bring everything into one big pot until one of the pots maybe takes off and it fulfills everything you need. Now I will do another video, the next video coming up about how you figure out what it is you need. So if you do have any questions on this or any thoughts and comments, please do leave them in the box below. It mean the world to me if you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. Uh, if you've got this far, thank you very much for watching. I've been Brucey and I will catch you later.